I don't think he's moving. It's curls. <laughs> He is a lazy freeloader, and it's time for all this dysfunction to stop. Okay, but can't we just do this later? I mean, you know how he gets in the morning. Ned, aren't you tired of letting people push you around? Yes. Then get in there and do it. <sighs> oh, what? What is it? Dewey, hey, it's the first of the month, and, uh... I would like your share of the rent now, please. Oh, man, you know I don't have it. You wake me up for that? Come on. Yeah. Nah. Sorry. Dewey, I mean, you owe me a lot of money as it is. Yeah, try $2,200. Okay. You guys, the band is about to hit it big time. We're going to win Battle of the Bands, and when I'm rolling in the Benjamins, I will throw you and your dog a bone. Good night. Oh, give it up. Your band has never made two cents. Patty, come on. I'm on this. Oh, you're on this? You're on this? He's walking all over you. Mommy, could we please talk about this later? Uh, no, we can't talk about it later because Ned and I have to go to work. We have jobs. We contribute to society, all right? I am an assistant to the mayor of the city. Hello? What? Can you get her out of here, please? Why? Why her? And Ned has the most important job there is. Temping? Dewey, a substitute teacher is not a temp. He's a babysitter. Oh, yeah, you think it's so easy? Well, I'd like to see you try. You wouldn't last one day. Dude, I serve a society by rocking. Okay? I'm out there on the front lines liberating people with my music. Rockin' ain't no walk in the park, lady. All right, this is useless, all right? You tell him that if he doesn't come up with the rent by the end of the week, he's out of here. Dewey, I'm not paying your share of the rent, so... I don't know. I mean, maybe you should sell one of your guitars or something. What? Would you tell Picasso to sell his guitars? Oh, my God. He's an idiot. Dude... I've been mooching off you for years, and it's never been a problem until she showed up. Just dump her, man. Yeah, well, if you don't come up with some money, she's gonna dump me. She's fed up. Really? Because that would be a good thing. She's a nightmare. Come on! I may never have another girlfriend. I mean, just come on! Come up with some money, please! Please! Okay, for you. Not for her, man. For you. Thank you. Feel me. I'm hot, sick, D minor. I'm hungry. Hey, hey, what's up? Is that a new song? Who's this guy? Dewey, we're taking the Battle of the Band seriously this year. Good, because I need the money. Now listen, my feeling is if we're going to win this thing, we got to actually start playing some music. I agree. You're fired. And your lyrics, now don't take this the wrong way, Theo, are lame. But I've been sitting on some awesome material, so... Dewey, did you hear what I said? We voted. You're out. This is Spider. He's replacing you. What's up, dog? Oh, I was gonna tell you last night, Dewey, but you passed out, man. Okay, you're gonna kick me out of the band, huh? You're gonna fire me? Well, this is my band. I brought us together. Theo wanted you out, man. There's nothing I could do. Oh, he... shut up, man. You voted him out, too. I didn't tell you what to do. Oh. Dewey, listen to me. You're a good guitar player, but it's, it's the 20-minute solos, it's a stage dives. We're trying to land a record deal here, man. And you're an embarrassment. Read between the lines, Theo. Read between the lines! Dewey, man, I hope this doesn't come between us. Like, I care about you, man. You guys, you know what? You're nuts. You're all nuts. You've been focused so hard on making it, you forgot about one little thing. It's called the music! And I don't even care. You know what? So what? I don't want to hang out with a bunch of wannabe corporate sellouts. I'm going to form my own band, and we are going to start a revolution, okay? And you're going to be a funny little footnote on my epic ass. I feel sorry for you guys. Yeah, it's a 1968 Gibson SG, mint condition. No. That's all. Well, that's a mistake. No, Hendrix played this guitar. He Hello?
Yeah. Is this Mr. Schneebly? Nah, he's not here. Oh, could you take a message for me? Um, yeah. Hi, my name's Rosalie Mullins. Um, I'm the principal here at Horace Scream Prep, and we're having a little emergency here. One of our teachers broke her leg on the way to school this morning, and all of our subs are already working. Pat Wickham at Milton Prep recommended I give Mr. Schneebly a call. Do you know if he's available? Um, uh, how long is the gig? Excuse me? Uh, how long is the job? My guess is as much as a few weeks, but we do need somebody to start immediately. Mm-hmm. So how much are we talking here? We pay our substitutes six fifty a week. Now, do you know when Mr. Schneebly will be back? Hold on a sec. Oh, you know what? I think he's just coming in right now. Ned, phone! Hello, this is Ned Schneebly. Pat, fax me your resume. It's very impressive. Mm -hmm. We've never been in a bind like this before, mm -hmm. so thank you so much. So how's this going to work? Are you going to pay me up front? I, I don't understand. It'd be really great if I could get paid now in cash. Oh, well, we don't do that.